Oh, what is going on, everybody? So, it is Monday, Max Effort Week. Ah, my favorite week of all time. Kind of. <laughs> but this is a week where I hit some stuff at 95%, hit some heavy weight, and actually put up some good numbers. And we are starting off with squats. Now, you're going to notice that I only do three reps and two reps on these sets, and there is a good reason for that. I am trying to make sure that I save a little bit in the tank for the 95% rep, which just so happened to be 360 pounds, and that is a 10-pound PR, like, lifetime for me. Uh, that is also beltless, just so everybody knows. So I have actually never hit that particular number without a belt, completely 100% raw, ever. And pretty happy with it. Very, very happy, actually. Uh, it kind of stalled on me on the way up, and I ended up grunting it out, which I'm sure if you watched my Max Effort video, which I put up before this one, you got to hear that, and I was pretty excited. No cussing. I kept it clean, PG, just so uh, everybody could watch it. I didn't really want to um, say anything horrible, although off-camera, I did. I was quite excited. So... Pretty happy with my squat session. Everything went really well. Everything felt really good. I was feeling pretty strong and uh, was just killing it, really. Uh, probably This has probably been one of my better max effort weeks. So all in all, I have nothing to really complain about. Uh, I actually even was kind of happy with my depth on the 360 rep, which a lot of times when I hit new PRs and stuff like that, I end up short stroking it a little bit. This one, I think I got it. Like I said, I stalled a little bit right towards the bottom, like just coming out of the hole. Not 100% sure why. I think I kind of missed my stretch reflex a little bit. But again, it was a 95% rep, so a little bit of stalling is allowed. I'm not going to cry about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting stronger. That's all that really matters to me. Uh, my rep work here. I actually did pretty good on my rep work, too. I ended up um, noticing that I did start kind of short-stroking it a little bit towards the end there. And I think that's because um, I ended up widening my stance for some ridiculously stupid reason. And uh, that actually kind of shortened my range of motion. And I, I don't know why I did that. I don't know what was going through my head at that point. Probably the fact that I had 295 pounds on my back and I was getting pretty tired. I don't know. Um, other than that... Everything went really, really well. Uh, I'll probably end up doing 295 again on my next heavy day just to kind of make up and reinforce hitting the bottom on all those reps because uh, I'm not real satisfied with basically partial reps, as I'm going to call them. My depth already sucks. I don't need to reinforce bad form and uh, uh, start doing higher and higher squats. So... Now that we've got all that said, we're going to go on to some bench press. Now, you guys may notice I did change the angle that I've started shooting bench press at. Um, it sucks because I don't get to see my foot position as well, but it does make it a whole lot nicer for me to see if my butt's coming off of the bench and watching my arch, my actual bar path, and everything else. So, I don't know if you guys like the, posi if the position of the camera or not. I'm sorry if you don't, it kind of is more, it does help me out quite a bit, but if you guys really do hate it all that much, I may switch it around for you a little bit and then just try to record uh, my stuff on the side. I can do that. Heck, I might even do something on the side and see if I can do two cameras at once. Who knows? Technology is a beautiful thing after all. Now, as far as the way this session actually felt, besides the leg cramp that I got on this particular set, Everything went really well. I actually ended up widening my grip a little bit and um, working on a few things as far as form. And uh, that's because there was a video I watched previous to this. And I'm going to link that video in the description box below. It's a really, really informative video. And I want to share it and I want to make sure people get to see it and actually do 
uh, hear this stuff. If you are a power lifter, a bodybuilder or anything, all of this stuff does apply if you want to move some heavy weight. It's very, very, very helpful, helpful information. So this is the max effort rep right here. This is 290 and man, did it feel good. Yes, it was slow. Yes, it kind of grinded out a little bit, but I don't care. It was awesome because it was more than 285. So I'm happy, very, very happy. Uh, I couldn't possibly be happier with this. It could have went a little better, but I am not going to complain. I'm not going to say anything. I am going to say that I noticed my lockout's a little weak, and I am going to work on that. So I learned something. Now I know what I need to work on, and we're good. But, hey, progress is progress, and I'm going to take it. Just like this. This is 205 for a set of eight. I've been stuck at like 200 for a little while, and... Finally made managed to bust through that. Feeling pretty good about that. And really, again, super happy my bench press is coming up and actually working the way it's supposed to. It's kind of disheartening when the other two lifts you have are making progress and doing exactly what you want them to do. And then you have one lagging lift, which seems like the case no matter what you do. You're always going to have a lagging lift. But it just seems like my bench press has always been the bane of my existence. And... Probably always will be, but that's okay. I will fight it till the bitter end until I get it to where I want it to be, which I have no idea where that's going to be, but we're going to find out. And then, of course, the stiff-legged deadlifts. Not really much to talk about here. Just moving the weight up and making sure I pause at the bottom, keeping my form good and solid, trying to build them spinal erectors and all them good muscles in between, hamstrings and everything, so... Did two sets of eight on these, by the way. I only recorded one because I figured the rest of this is boring enough as it is. But anyway, that's my training log. That's my video. Hope you liked it. You know what to do if you did. And as always, until next time.